I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Life with same. God is so good. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. It is a beautiful day in Tennessee. Welcome everyone to Life with Gwen and Joe. This is my beautiful wife Gwen. I'm Joe and it is a stunningly beautiful day here in Nashville. We're praising God for that. It's a very special time of the year. Yes. We've got our palm branches out and you know what that means. Yes, it's Passover. Passover. And a beautiful time where all God's saints around the world will be lifting their holy hands to God and praising Him. Amen. It's such a glory, a glorious thought as millions used to do it at the time of this pilgrimage. Right now we're uh, been asked almost globally around the world, so many different governments are asking for people to stay in. You know, the early Christians had to hide out in the catacombs and to go worship, you know, to be able to, to get to go do what they were wanting to. And, you know, we've been free to be able to gather. It's an interesting concept to feel like what it, it means to have to, to isolate. But we're so prepared for that because we were set up with internet and learning to worship in our homes long before this happened, right. where people are used to getting dressed up for God and getting there and praising God in small groups, knowing that you're worshiping around the world. And so tonight we'll be eating the uh, Passover meal with all you saints at the same time. And so we wanted to go over just a few facts about the <coughs> meal because it's huge eating and symbolically for what this means to God. So we're going to read from Exodus 12 if you right. want to read along with us. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in Egypt, this month is to be for you the first month. Tell the whole community of Israel that on the 10th day of this month, each man is to take a lamb for his family, one for each household. If any household is too small for a whole lamb, they must share it with their nearest neighbor, having taken into account the number of people there are. You are to determine the amount of lamb needed in accordance with what each person will eat. The animal you choose must be a year old males without defect and you may take them from sheep or the goats. Take care of them until the 14th day of the month when all of the people of the community of Israel must slaughter them at twilight. Then they are to take some of the blood and put it on the sides and tops of the door frames of the houses where they eat the lambs. That same night, they are to eat the meat roasted over the fire, along with bitter herbs and bread made without yeast. Do not leave any of it till morning. If some is left till morning, you must burn it. This is how you are to eat it, with your cloak tucked into your belt and sandals on your feet and your staff in your hand. Eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. So, how beautiful is that? Amazing. Huh? Okay, so uh, 4,000 years ago, uh, Moses is being told by God to have the Israelites for them to, to basically uh, go into their homes, and that's what we've been asked to do, go into your homes with your family and only as much meat as you need. We've done that. Uh, there's been some grilling going on. We've divided up. Everybody's getting the amount of lamb that they need. And then we've got bitter herbs, uh, which is a, a variety of foods can fall in that category for children. Uh, and then, um, of course, the wine and the bread without yeast and to eat it in haste. Could, could we talk about the bread without yeast and the symbolism of the blood on the door frames so that people might understand a little bit better if they don't know? Okay, that's beautiful. So what, what all of this means is this entire meal, the wine is the blood, and all of it is symbolic of what Jesus did. He died on the cross at this very same time, 1,300 years later. And he basically set us free from sin and God through Moses set us free from slavery of the world. And there was an exodus and they, he said to make sure you eat it in haste, get out of there. They didn't have time for these to rise. They didn't have time for sin to rise. Get out of your sin quickly. Don't let it have time to rise. People that play around with getting out, is uh, it's not good. And so this is about leaving Egypt and then going into the desert with God and worshiping God alone, getting out of the world, the glitter of Egypt and the slavery of the world. So, so the message might be for us now in today's time that Passover really represents 
leading sin in your life That's and right. going out into your own personal desert and, and getting away from sin and staying away from it and do it quickly, right? Do it quickly. And the bitter herbs, that is for the parents to go around and remind the children of how horrible slavery is to sin, how terrible it is to be caught up in obesity or to be caught up in you know, drunkenness or to be caught up in the love of money, to be caught up in sexual sins, to be caught up in uh, the pride of life. It's so hard to get out, but the bitter, the bitterness of the slavery. And so tonight uh, with the children, really spend time on what sin is and that the children want to stay far away from it, get out of there in a hurry. And so uh, we want you to enjoy your, your meal tonight and uh, in, enjoy it in this sense. Enjoy remembering what it really, really means. And to know this, and this is huge, uh, as we conclude this and let you all get back to your fellowship with your, your, your family, um, I want you to know that in both instances, whether it was Christ died on the cross, He was the Lamb, and, and when He asked us to do communion, it was just the Passover meal on that Last Supper. That's all it was. And he, he, but what Christ was saying as He died on that cross is that it is finished. God did all He could, all He could. It says in, in um, the Psalms and in all over the Old Testament that God did everything to get us out. What the, the work He did to get us away from Satan and, and getting us out of the hands of Pharaoh, all the plagues, everything that He did to let, let loose of the world from, from His people. And then He did all that work and then Jesus said, it is finished. He did all that work. Why would God do His part and show us that He, that he did everything He could to win us over and to, and, to, and to get us? Why wouldn't we give back this Passover all that we've got, all that we've got to Him to make sure that our relationship with Him is everything? Give Him everything this Passover 2020. Give Him everything. So we love you guys. We love pray you that these branches will be lifted high to God. And uh, I praise God that we know how to praise Him from our homes. Amen, it started with the Israelites. They put the blood over the door. Now we put the blood over our hearts so that, that when we drink that wine, that we literally are going to die to our wills and live for God's. And that is the symbolism of this blood. So we love you guys. Love y'all. Have, have, have a blessed, have a blessed night. Love you guys. Happy Passover. Love y'all. I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Every day is the same. Heading straight for the grave. And I'm thankful for living. Thankful for living. Thankful for living.
Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video.